welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty crescent moon wreath using moss and mushrooms and frame from Dollar Tree. Stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make it. All right, y'all, let us get started. This table is a mess. This is my busy time and I've got so many crafts on this table, it's unreal. But anyway, what you're going to need, this is a wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. This is a 14 inch wreath frame and you want to use the bigger ones to give you enough space to really you know get the edges of the moon that we're about to make the smaller ones i found don't work as well okay so you want the bigger one and the ones from dollar tree are pretty flimsy and they bend really well and that that's really going to help you out when it comes to this craft okay so now what you're going to do with your handy dandy wire cutters is you're going to ignore the paint all over my <laughs> And you're going to cut out two sections of this wreath frame. And when I'm talking about two sections, you see the area between these points here. This is a section. This is a section. You want to cut out two whole sections. And you want to do so. Let's see, I might have to hold this down in my lap. I usually do. You want to cut it like so, okay? leaving this part here because these ends here are going to be bent up and taped together okay so you're going to cut just right along there and then come around here and then you're just going to cut right here along that line okay so i'm going to cut this and i'll be back and yes i just turned my fan on i'm sitting here sweating i'm like why is my fan on okay so this is the two sections you see how the flat ends are here so I'm just going to throw that over there. I might make something with it later. I might not. I don't know. But to hold these ends together, you use whatever you want to use. But I'm going to use this painter's tape, this filthy roll of painter's tape. You can use paper tape. You can use floral wire. You can hold these together and try to, like, hot glue the ends together. Um, but I'm going to use this painter's tape. And then you're just going to take your ends like this and just kind of bring them together like so and then i want to wrap this here just carefully bring it around and just try to keep everything together and uniform bring it down like so why is this not sticking i don't know <laughs> trying to hold it together because the tapes want them to come off okay just carefully and i'm going to go back of course and i'll wrap a little bit around the very tip okay so that we can cover that up. We're going to be covering it up anyway, but you know. Okay, let's wrap this around. And then I'm also, like I said, going to wrap it around the bottom right here. So I have both ends taped up like this. And like I said, we're getting ready to, I'm just moving my light here. We're getting ready to cover this up. Now, what are you going to use to wrap around this? You can use whatever you want. You can use yarn. You can use uh, the nautical rope, that white nautical rope at Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this. I got this somewhere, um, Walmart or somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, you can get it at a Walmart, Joann's, any kind of craft store. And I think what I'm going to do, because it's kind of hard to wrap the points in the very beginning, I think. So I'm going to start in the middle, and then I'm going to work my way outwards on each end, okay? That's just easiest for me. So we're going to take this, and I think my glue gun is hot over there. I'm looking, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, we're just going to take our rope up like this, and then I'm just going to bring it down and put a blob of glue right here. Because I'm going to be gluing some stuff on here to decorate it with. So any little lumps and bumps at this very centerpiece, that's going to be covered up anyway, okay? So I'm not worried about that. So as you can see, I'm just going to take my hot glue here, and I'm just going to, I've got a, I've got a stick, hot glue on a stick. Just hold it down like so. Another benefit of long nails, <laughs> you just press things down. And then I'm just going to let this sit here until that glue sets up, and it is going to withstand the torture and torment of me <laughs> wrapping this twine around and around. Okie doke. So now I'm just going to start working my way over toward this point here. What is this green stuff? Have y'all ever seen that? It's like sometimes with this twine, there's like different colored fibers wrapped up in it. I'm like, why are you doing this to me? Really? 
And then we're just going to carefully, and I'm just trying to hold each one in place. And then every now and again, I'm gonna put a blob of hot glue on the back, okay? Just to help hold it in place a little bit. See? And just kind of wrap it around and just hold it for a second. We, I'm tangled up. All right, just move it around. And then we're just gonna wrap all the way to the end. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna start again here and then work my way back that way. Okay, just take your time with this. Don't rush it. Trying to get everything in place. So I'm gonna work on this and come back and see what we got. So this is what I have so far. Start this way, you can see it that way. All right, so I want mine to kind of be facing this way. So let's see, what are we gonna glue on here? I have some, oh golly, I'm gonna fall out of my chair. I got these mushrooms, Dollar Tree. All right, somebody asked me in the other video where these came from, Dollar Tree. Um, they have a bunch of different colors. Last year they had this red, kind of a bluish and purple and a peachy orange color and brown. So um, go look at your Dollar Trees and see if they have them. I've been playing back and forth with this as to how I want it to look. And I think, so I won't have to trim the top. Let's just kind of angle it like so i'm just going to put a whole lot of hot glue right here and then just going to glue the stem down to the actual wreath but yes the moss is on the bottom of this one because i had used some of these mushrooms in a previous craft and i don't keep everything that i make okay a lot of things i take it apart and reuse parts okay instead of me constantly going back and forth to the store and taking more off the shelves I try to reuse things when I can. All right, so I'm just going to hold that one on there and hope that it's stuck down. So now let's get another one. Dad, gum it. I don't want to open up these packages. I don't want to use all these. I mean, I've got a few more packages. If I find some more, I'll just grab it. And now let's bring this one up. Just stay. Got some sort of powdery residue here. All right. I'm just going to aim this one that way. And this looks kind of flat right here. And then once I stick this one down, I'm just going to have to hold these in place for a few minutes until this glue sets up, okay? So let's stick it down like so. And now I'm just going to sit here and hold them. All right, so now we have these three little mushrooms here. Bear with me. I'm making this up as I go. Um, I have some of the Spanish moss. I think I'm going to stick some of the Spanish moss on here. And I just lost my other glue stick whatever i'll get it here in a minute but i have a few different types of moss i want to mix together here this spanish moss and then i have some more like this uh, reindeer moss type that i'm going to be mixing together um just to give a little bit of different color and dimension yes i need another glue stick all right i got my other glue stick crisis averted so now i'm just piling on this moss to kind of you know, so it won't be such a harsh jump from the wreath to the little mush mushes. Um, I'm going to glue that to my hand. I'm just going to pack moss around it. And then y'all know I have tons of crystals. People ask me where I get my crystals all the time. I live in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. And I live around a lot of gem mines. Okay, so I go mining for my own crystals and gems. Also lots of gem shops around here because I'm uh, here in Asheville. Um, so there's lots of gym shops. But anyway, if you, you can get on Amazon, um, you can just, just type in here like crystals, crystal points, crystals for crafting. You know, you're going to find a whole lot of stuff. So even on Etsy, I've seen them on Etsy. So that's where you can find a lot of crystals for your crafting needs. So I'm just packing more moss here. And then I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to bring this up just a little bit. And then I'm also going to glue on some of this green moss. Just, just a little bit of it here and there just to give it a little bit of color. Okay, so I've got some crystals here. This is what I have so far. I've got some crystals here. This is one of my favorite um, quartz crystal points. It still has a little bit of dirt here because I haven't thoroughly washed it off yet. But um, you can't see the dirt from here. So you know what? I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just... We're just going to glue it down like right there. And I'm really going to pump the glue on here. Now, listen, I'm probably going to go back after this video and I'm going to put some E6000 
around it to really, really hold it in place. But this is going to be hanging in my house, okay? So I'm not going to be exposed to the elements. It's going to be in my house. So the hot glue should be just fine for that. Now, these are all just small crystal uh, quartz points. You can get crystals like this off of Amazon. Um, I will look on Amazon for you, see if I can find a good deal. And then I will post the link in the description box, and I'll try to pin a comment. But um, I'm just going to try to see like, the best way to do this here. If I should just like put the glue there and then just stick the points in. I think that'll work. I'm just going to stick some right around here to kind of you know make it look like a cluster i'm going to work on that and come back okay i just dumped out some more here i've got a i think this is all that i have hey kitty so this is what i have so far this here and now i want to put some here and make them come up in different angles and then we'll put just a tiny little bit of moss that's what i want to do so let's look through here i should have done this a second ago most of these um where they are broken off have sort of like flat bottoms so i'm just going to hold this up and then here in a minute once i get done with this i'm going to put just a tad bit of moss around it okay and that's going to hide these these bottoms here where it's going to be attached to the wreath frame okay so i'm going to put just a few down here let it set up and then come back with the moss okay so this is what I have so far here. You see these at the bottom. Now I want one to kind of like be hanging down from the top. And this one here is pretty much like the largest one that I have. Let me see. And it's also pretty flat right here, like very flat. Um, so you know what? I'm just gonna put a blob of hot glue right there. And I have this really thin twine. This came from Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna hold it right there. And I'm just going to wrap it some right around there, and then that is going to be what I use to hang it, okay? So go wrap it around and let the glue set up. Okay, so this has been wrapped up. This is what we have here. And I'm gonna hold it so that like the front of it is facing me. And I'm probably gonna have to hold this up so that I can see how it's gonna hang. But I want it to kind of be wherever you want yours to go. I will say, right about there I'm just going to wrap this twine around and then I'm going to glue it down on the back I'm trying to be careful here and not really smash anything on the front but I'm just gonna let that glue set up and I'm gonna trim off the excess and then this is gonna be done now how do you hang it how do you hang it take a piece of floral wire or you could take a piece of this twine just run it through the loops here tie knot and then hang it up okay or if you're using wire just run the wire through it twist it to make a loop and then hang it up okay i haven't decided exactly if i want mine to hang up or if i want to put it on this bookcase over here i don't know yet but anyway that's that's how i would hang mine so i'm gonna let this glue set up and then that'll be that but anyway i hope that you enjoyed this video if you would please give it a thumbs up click subscribe check me out on other forms of social media the links to all of which will be in the description box down below and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.